Hello there, Geminis. So I have some really solid, wonderful things happening for you guys um, here in this spread for the next two weeks. So this is going to run roughly from the 15th of May until the 31st, okay? So what I feel has ha been happening here for the past three years, for many of you, there was this constant struggle between work and relationship, okay? So it feels to me like you can't have it all. That's what it feels like. It, it, it seems like uh, wherever you moved for work to strengthen your relationship, wherever you move to, you know, uh, to be with a relationship partner, the work that you want or the types of career or the types of, you know, tasks that you want to do wasn't available in that environment. And then likewise, whenever you were called away to, whenever you landed a job or whenever you had to do something, right? Uh, it took you far away from your love relationships. So I feel like it was this constant struggle of trying to balance the two, managing your time so that you can um, juggle work responsibilities as well as the responsibilities of a relationship, for example. And then some of you might have felt like you had to end relationships because the work that you did took you far away from that relationship partner. And your drive, your personal ambition, it was always going to be work first, you know, like work first, play later. So I feel like you didn't prioritize the relationship. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I feel that geographically it took you far away. Okay. And so you might have ended up doing like long distance relationships and then finding out that you and your partner drifted away because, you know, um, I feel like with air signs, it's easy for air signs to do long distance relationship because you're, you're not as um, emotionally attached, but at the same time, if it drags on for too long, it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. So your partner, it, I feel like it does, of course, it does take a, its toll on you because you know, it's emotionally taxing to do a long distance relationship. And I feel that over time, you both like drifted apart, mainly because you weren't able to be together to share, you know, these major milestones. Uh, they weren't with you. You weren't with them when you both were growing and progressing. And so it drove the relationship apart. Okay. It drove the two people apart. And so I feel like that has been happening for you guys for the past three years. And I also feel like, you know, getting involved with people in your work environment, that might have also happened where it really hurt your professional image or it really hurt your, your credibility. So be careful about that. But I feel like there was some tragedy here surrounding love. And having said that, I feel like what's coming in for many of you is a new love relationship. And I feel some of you are already in it. Some of you are um, still like, doing it long distance and hoping that it's going to work out. So I feel like there is a relationship that some of you are in right now that is really enhancing your life. Okay. They, they say that it's replenishing your life force. So I feel like you might be with somebody who's very wise or you might be with somebody who's very spiritual. So they replenish you like heart, body, and soul. I feel like you're getting a lot of guidance from this person in terms of what you should do, what you should not do, because they're very, they seem to me to be old and wise. So they could be like physically, uh, biologically older than you, or they could just be a very old soul. And they're, they've been through a lot of hardships in their life and they're showing you how to be diligent, how to work hard, how to persevere. And I feel like you you feel very inspired by this person. And then likewise, I feel like some of you are still cycling through, like, you know, dealing with exes. And I have here a water sign, X, okay? So a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. And I feel like, I feel like Piscean energy coming in quite strong. And I feel that, you know, this is um, something that you emotionally, you're not bound to it anymore but you like the way that the person makes you feel like they're very central and the the experience you know the courtship the whole dating experience it just felt very surreal it just felt like a little bit magical and a little bit surreal but what you have right now is so much more it has so much more um depth it has so much more potential than than you know that relationship in the past okay so i feel that 
a lot of you are spending time cultivating a relationship, learning a lot about yourself, learning how to, I guess, be patient when dealing with other people, learning as well that while you are at your best in a relationship, you are also able to learn to be your, on your own, learn to take care of practical responsibilities and learn about a lot more about yourself, okay? So like uh, more about your inner strengths, your weaknesses, how to work to improve your weaknesses and how to fortify your strength, okay, your assets. So I feel like a major, major growth spurt is happening for many of you. And I also feel some of you are doing research as well, like... Um, trying I, i'm seeing like you know experiments i'm seeing like um trial runs i'm doing seeing like biomedical research like in the medical profession in scientific um kind of like in, in scientific endeavors trying to implement some type of breakthrough you might have a partner that you're working with and the both of you are so different that you're learning a lot from each other so i feel like the next two weeks will be greatly about collaboration okay about learning collaborating expanding your mind expanding your consciousness and having very strong epiphanies and breakthroughs okay like those breakthrough moments okay so it's going to be a really good next two weeks for you guys and also i wish you all a very happy birthday for those celebrating uh the end of this month okay take care of yourself and i'll talk to you soon gemini's bye bye